bison potentially could play an important role in their ecosystem. We know that they did historically when they existed, you know, in the millions. Uh, they are ecosystem engineers in that when you have so many bison living in an area, the, they trample the ground in a particular way, they graze in a particular way. Bison do help increase the biodiversity of the grassland just because of those roles that they play by what they're doing to the soil, what they're doing to the vegetation community. So you will see certain species of birds, insects, and plants that are present when bison are present. And it might help some populations that can exist when bison aren't there, but it helps, for example, prairie dogs. And prairie dogs, when prairie dogs are there, that helps increase golden eagle populations. That increases black-footed ferret populations. They also do two kind of unusual behaviors that cattle don't do. One is that they wallow. You may have seen film where bison are constantly giving themselves dust baths, and it, what that does is it creates this bare spot in the grassland and, and a depression. And that is a great habitat for certain types of plants that you don't normally find in grasslands if there are no bison. And with that wallowing compresses the soil quite a bit, and sometimes it can form like a, a, an ephemeral wetland. So okay. it's been shown that when you have bison on the landscape and they're wallowing, it can help certain species of amphibians like frogs or salamanders. Um, and bison do something else which you won't find uh, cattle doing is that they uh, do something called horning and it's rubbing their horns against trees and this actually kills trees which sounds like a bad thing but it's a good thing for grasslands because one of the dangers for grasslands is tree encroachment. The forests are constantly trying to come in and take over the grassland and so bison kind of keep the trees out and helps the, the maintain the grassland overall.